Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca, and this is a yoga sequence to help you get into the here and now. And we'll be using doTERRA's yoga collection of oils, so you'll need those. If you don't have them, you can still do the practice, but I highly recommend that you get these. They're amazing. So let's begin. Let's start in a seated position and take out your anchor oil, the one with the purple label. Put a drop in your hands. Rub your hands together. Take a deep inhale, popping your hands over your face. Exhale. Another inhale. And X. And just take a moment to rub this on to the back of your neck. And you could even rub some on the base of your spine to help yourself get grounded. And then placing, you can keep your bottle cap off. We'll use it in just another moment. Place your hands on your mat or on your thighs. Beginning your ujjayi breath. Getting rooted, breathing all the way to the bottoms of the feet. Noticing where your body is touching the earth. And keeping the eyes closed, just switch the cross of the legs. Big inhale here. Stay upright or just gently start to walk the hands forward. Slight forward bend, keeping your sit bones grounded into the earth. And walking your hands up, gently blink the eyes open, coming into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet to touch. And just start by doing a little bounce with the legs, just getting everything nice and warmed up. You could take your hands behind you if you wanted to open up the chest. And then grabbing your anchor oil again, and we'll take a drop or two into your palm again. And this time, we're going to rub them onto the soles of the feet. And really give yourself a nice little foot rub here. And now we can close our cap. And we'll just take a moment, just feel that. And on your next exhale, you can start to fold. So love the anchor, the lavender, the cedar wood, frankincense, black pepper, patchouli. All help you really get into your body and be present in the here and now. I like to lean forward and just have my palms either holding the feet, fingers between the toes or resting your palms face up on the ground. You may or may not feel a little bit of tingling in your feet. My feet always feel nice and heavy here. I just love that. It's almost like magic, these oils. And slowly coming up, taking a wide legged forward bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slowly walk forward, toes pointed towards the sky. You can do a little side-by-side -side rocking motion or remain still. 
so important to be in the here and now. So many of us are always thinking about the past or thinking about what's coming up. So we're going to do a little breath work, a little mantra within the breath to help remind us to be in the here and now. So we'll do the mantra of the breath. So we won't say it, but we'll be thinking it. So as we inhale, we'll be thinking the word so. As we exhale, we'll think hum. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Inhale, think in your mind, so. Exhale, hum. Coming up to center. And let's make our way onto hands and knees for cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, so. Exhale, round, hum. And just continue with that on your own. And taking a couple more rounds of that, or you can make your way into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Maybe pedaling out the feet. Toes spread nice and wide. We've got those oils that help us get grounded. So just continuing, again, feeling where your hands touch the earth, feeling where your feet touch the earth. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. In your mind. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. On your next inhale, coming forward into plank. Top of a push-up. And just drop the knees and lower all the way down to the ground. So we'll take a Shalabhasana variation. Palms come beside you. Pressing flat into the earth. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Keep your hands pressing down into the earth. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale. Just continuing alternating legs. Using your palms to help press your chest forward, open. And lower all the way down, coming into cobra, hands by the wrist. Take your feet a little bit uh, further than hip width apart so you can really get your toes down into the ground. Inhale, lifting up for a small cobra. Exhale, lower. Again, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, maybe a little bit higher. And exhale, press back onto knees. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg rises, inhale, exhale, step the right foot through to your hands, runner's lunge. We'll take this into a moving lunge, coming up onto your fingertips. If you have a block here, that can be really nice. If you don't have blocks, you could always use like books or something else that would give you some height. And we'll take this into some movement here. So we'll inhale, so, imagine the chest reaching forward. Exhale, bending back, hum. Inhale, so, coming forward into that lunge. Exhale, hum. Continuing with that on your own. Movement with the breath. Don't stress about your right leg being straight. You can always keep a nice little bend. And if you feel yourself opening up, you can get rid of the blocks if you want. And come up by the fingertips. Last one, downward facing dog, exhale.
Coming forward into plank, top of a push-up. We'll take a vinyasa, lower knees, chest, chin. Inhaling through cobra. Pressing back, downward facing dog. You can always come up onto your knees first. Left leg rises on and inhale. Exhale, step it through, runner's lunge. Maybe use blocks for the hands. Inhale, your chest reaches forward and opens. So, fold, hum. Inhale, come forward, so, hum. Continuing with that movement. And just check. Are you thinking about the future or the past? Or are you right here? Are you tuned into your breath? A great practice for your yoga and for your life. Try and be in the moment. Try and be in this one life that we get. And when you're ready, downward facing dog, step it back. Exhale. Coming forward into plank, taking your variation of the vinyasa. Downward facing dog, exhale. And lower your knees down onto the floor, knees wide, big toes touch, child's pose, balasana. Please make your way into a kneeling position. and find your Align oil, that's the green centering blend. And we'll take this oil, take a drop or two again. And you're going to place this on your heart, your wrists, and your solar plexus. And then just take, of course, a breath, a couple of breaths so you can smell it. Mmm. So delicious. So you're going to take your toes. I'll just turn sideways so you can see. Take your toes and tuck them under and come to sit on your heels for just a few breaths. You can always bring your hands back up to your nose so you can really smell it. And this one I love, the bergamot is that first ingredient and the bergamot is the oil of self-acceptance. And one of the things we need to live in the moment is being able to accept where we are and this toe tuck just reminds us that even when things get difficult or maybe don't feel so good, we can still be present, we can still be calm. We can practice this really acceptance of wherever we are. And release the tuck of the toes, just come to sit back, just enjoy that stretch, the feeling of that stretch for a moment. And if you haven't already, you can close your bottle and come to hands and knees and we'll take a variation of cat-cow. So we'll take a cat-cow that I really love. And same thing as cat-cow except you'll rotate the wrist, the toes, or excuse me, the fingers back towards your body and you'll just inhale 
Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale, round. And I love this one because we put the oil on our wrists and we put it on our heart. So a lot of times you can really still smell that wonderful oil as you're doing the cat cow. Come back to that breath mantra, the so and the hum as you exhale. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. One more. And take the wrists back forward. And you're going to make your way into a squat. Malasana, yogi squat. Just taking your hands in prayer. See if you can really get your heart lifted. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. And bring your hands forward. Step your right foot back for a runner's lunge. And we're coming into triangle on the left side. So spin that back foot flat and slowly rise up into your left side triangle. Find a nice spot for your gaze and where your neck is comfortable. Maybe you're looking down, maybe you're looking to the side or up. Wherever you are, inhale into your mind, so. Exhale, hum. Bring your right hand to your right waist, coming into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take a block with you if you need it. Stepping your left hand forward, Coming up onto your left toes, lifting the right leg up. Getting yourself nice and aligned. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Slowly, a little bit in your left foot. Bring your hands to your waist, slowly coming up. Right leg running through space. Bring your right knee up into your chest, nice and slow. And coming into Nada Rajasana, dancer pose. So reaching that right leg back. Right hand reaches for the inside of the right foot. Left hand to your heart. Slowly coming into dancer's pose. Feeling that warmth in your chest. And release the back foot coming into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Palms at your side facing forward. Keeping the eyes open, coming into that squat pose once again, Malasana. And if you need a little assistance sitting up, you can always sit on a block and prop your seat up. Taking a moment to align. So to align means different things to different people. Maybe that means you want to work on your alignment in your yoga postures. You want to work on all those fine details. Maybe you need to align your thoughts with your actions. So just aligning, centering yourself. 
If all of that sounds like crazy talk, maybe you just center yourself through your breath. Just continue with that so on the inhale, hum on the exhale. Eyes open if they're closed. This time we're going to step our left foot back into a runner's lunge. Runner's lunge, left leg back. And this time we'll come up into triangle on that right side. So you're going to spin your back foot flat, bring it in a little bit, and slowly start to open up into triangle pose on the right side. If you need a block to help lift you up, highly recommend that. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. To really stay in the here and now. Left hand to left waist, coming into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Right fingertips reach forward. Finding your balance. When you're ready, your left arm can reach up. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Getting an alignment through your breath. Finding your center. Slowly, a little bend in your right foot. We're coming up to stand. Taking your time, bringing your left knee slowly up into your chest. Natura Jasana, dancer pose, reaching for that left inside of the left foot, right hand to your heart. You can stay upright or you can begin to reach your heart forward. Maybe press your back foot into your left hand. Feeling your heart nice and bright and open. I'm getting that self-acceptance, self-love. Give yourself a little shout out. <laughs> a little heart shout out and release that back foot Tadasana Mountain Pose <sighs> on an inhale reach your arms up exhale and fold <sighs> inhale lengthen heart halfway exhale step or float back plank top of a push up and lower Inhaling through cobra or up dog. Pressing back downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, step it through, back knee comes down, quad stretch. So some of you can stay here. This may be a good enough quad stretch for you. Some of you, I like to press up onto my a block with my left hand and reach back for the foot and get a nice opening in the chest. Some of you could grab the foot with both hands. It's hard to do that and talk at the same time. So wherever you're at, finding a spot that works for your body today, 
See if you can inhale that mantra, that breath mantra, so and hum. And release. And we'll come into side plank here, Bashi Stasana. So some of you, we're going to come onto the left hand. Some of you lift your back knee up. Some of you will take the right foot, come onto the blade of the left foot, and have the right foot in line. Or you can stack the feet. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Two more. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. One more. Exhale, hands come down. Step back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Left leg rises. Inhale, step it through a runner's lunge. Back knee comes down. Coming into that quad stretch. So maybe you take your left hand around. Some of you can stay right here. Reach back for the foot or both hands can reach back. Again, just finding what works for you. Self-acceptance, not what you should be doing, but what feels good today. Every day is different. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. And release. Coming into that side plank on the right side, Vashi Stasana. Tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee up. Coming onto the right hand. Maybe your left toes come in front of your hips. Or maybe you stack left foot on top of right. Wherever you are, inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Inhale, so. Exhale. One more. And release. Come into plank, top of a push up. Optional vinyasa. Lower on the exhale. Cobra or up dog. Inhale. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. <sighs> Balasana, child's pose, knees wide, big toes touch. Slowly making your way up onto your seat. And we'll come into half Varasana. And this is where you may or may not need like a blanket or even like a small rolled up towel. So we'll tuck the left foot under and extend the right leg forward. So this is where you might need a blanket. So sometimes we can be off kilter. So you just take the blanket and press it underneath your right sit bone. Inhale, lift the heart here. Exhale, stay upright or start to fold. If you need something underneath your right knee, that can be nice too to place either like a block or again a small towel underneath the right knee. If it feels good, you could reach for the toes, the feet, give yourself a little foot rub. Continuing with that breath mantra. It's 
slowly coming up. We'll switch sides. Take it easy on that left knee. Tucking the right foot back. Maybe getting a little boost for your left side. On an exhale, staying upright or folding forward. And as we start to slow things down, just noticing if you have are holding tension in places you shouldn't be. So maybe in your jaw or your feet or your neck. Or your hips. Just enjoying that moment when you realize, oh wow, I was gripping that. It feels so good to release that. And that's something you can do 24 hours a day whether you're on your mat or on an airplane or at work or at a restaurant. You can do it anywhere. Slowly coming up. You can keep that blanket there or you can use it for Paschimottanasana as a little lift. Legs extended, big inhale and exhale. Folding down. So continuing with that mantra, that Soham mantra, but this time making your exhale a little bit longer than your inhale. And coming up and making our way down onto our back. And before you get on your back, make sure you have your Arise Oil, your orange bottle. Just have it handy. We're not using it quite yet. Coming down onto your back. Hugging the knees into the chest. If you'd like, you can grab the ankles and take the knees wide. Some people like to come into Happy Baby where they grab the bottoms of the feet. Some days for me, it just feels better though to grab the ankles and take the knees wide. Give yourself a little low back massage. Coming into a spinal twist, so taking the knees into the chest, arms out to a T, and just drop your knees over to the right. If this is too much, you can take a little space or like a blocker or a towel and place it in between your legs. If it's okay in your neck, your gaze is towards the left. Continuing with that breath mantra, the so hum, but making your exhales a little bit longer than your inhales. And coming back to center, changing sides, knees over to the left, optional gaze over to the right, continuing with that breath mantra. Each exhale is an opportunity for you to allow gravity just to let your body relax into the floor. And coming back to the center, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock up to a seated position. If 
Here's one of my favorite parts of the practice. So take your arise, your enlightening blend. And what you'll do is after you put it into your hand, you're going to take that drop. I like to use my uh, ring finger and you just take like a little downward swoop on your third eye. Taking that drop, a little downward swoop on the third eye, and then rubbing your hands together. Really taking a big inhale. You can keep your hands cupped at your face, or you can drop them down to your thighs. Switching to a different focus in the breath. Imagine that you're breathing directly through the center of your nostrils. So as you inhale, the breath goes directly up through the center. As you exhale, they come directly down through the center of the nostrils. And this is one way you can really get focused, tuned in rather your breath. And this blend is so beautiful. We've got the lemon, which is the oil of focus. Helps our mind draw in. We've got grapefruit, osmanthus, Siberian fir, Melissa, and when these oils combine, they help us honor ourselves. Honor that deep wisdom that's within ourselves. And help us find that light that's in all of us at any time. If you feel yourself getting lost or losing focus, you can always take the hands back to the nose. Moving up through the center of the nostrils. Breath moving out.
And if you have more time, please feel free to stay seated for longer, or you can rest in your own Shavasana. But if you're ready to finish together, please take one more moment, a few more breaths in the seated position. your hands to your heart. Take a moment in gratitude that we have tools in this life to help us stay present, help us to get grounded, centered, and find our light. And again, knowing that that's available anytime through our breath. And we'll finish with an ohm together. Big inhale. to your third eye. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today. I hope that you really enjoyed that. If you love these oils or if you're interested in, in getting these doTERRA collection, yoga collection, Please send me a message and I would get back to you personally. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.